this is Pastor Rodney. This morning I want to talk to you about seeing your face and hearing your voice. You know, one of the most difficult things that I and we have to contend with is when we lose those that we love. Those who maybe we'll never see their faces again, nor hear their voices. In today's time with COVID-19, this is becoming a regularity because it seems like every day I get a call saying that my brother has passed or my mother has passed or my father has passed. And these are things that we cannot control because each day presents its own problems and difficulties. But this morning, I want to encourage you because there is a face that you can see and a voice that you can hear. It's not like any other face or any other voice that you've ever seen before. It is the face and voice of God. Truly, in my own life, it is those two things that have sustained me and kept me in my darkest hours. In the book of Genesis, chapter 3, it talks about that when Adam and Eve heard the voice of God, in the garden that they went and hid themselves and I started thinking as I read that isn't that just like us today that we really don't want to see the face of God and sometimes because we are so fixed on doing our own thing we don't want to hear his voice many today are rejecting the voice of God Many today are rejecting his face. But the word of God says that when Jesus came, that we beheld his glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. And even when the disciples asked Jesus, show us the Father. And he said, have I been with you so long that you have not known the Father? Because when you see me, you see the Father. Would to God that today, especially during those times when times are hard and situations of life are difficult, would to God that we could see his face and hear his voice. The word of God says that his voice is like the sound of many waters. (laughs) I love being on the sea and I love the sound of waves crashing on the rocks and against the banks and I think about my God what power because it speaks of God the scripture tells us in Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 6 it says seek the Lord while he may be found call upon him while he is near. Truly, more now than ever before, we need to see his face. Now, many of us, we want to see the hand of God. We want to see him to give us this, give us that. Lord, bless me here, bless me there. But how many of us are seeking his face? How many of us are saying, God, I just want to know you? That's what the Apostle Paul said. He said that I might know him in the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his suffering. So now today, I want to encourage you because maybe you may have lost someone very close and dear to your heart. But my friends, if you will just desire to see the face of God and to hear his voice, You're going to find peace in the midst of the storm. 
and God will wipe away every tear from your eye because he promises to never leave you or to forsake you. So if you woke up this morning, he's near. If you open your eyes, he's near. If you are breathing right now, he is near. Call on the Lord. You will find him. For even the word of God says in Psalms chapter 27, when you said, seek my face, my heart said to you, your face, Lord, I will seek. So let's seek him today. Let's listen for him today. And he will show up and show out. We pause. We reflect. And we emerge to life. In Jesus' name. We're listening, God.